Welcome to Three Minutes with Art 2. I'm a radiological scientific officer, and this is our nuclear survival complex. In this video, I am going to talk to you about some free or very low cost radiation detection devices. Okay, Jim and Dog, we're going to explain some details here about how to build a Kearney fallout meter. So you just lie down, lie down a good girl, that's right, while we're going to talk about this. So a couple other items that you have to make up, uh, you have to uh, make up the insider uh, for this. Now we just take a piece of aluminum, uh, uh, rather copper wire, and uh, uh, wrap it uh, 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 with some uh, tape again uh, to, uh, to insulate it. And uh, around it, uh, uh, we put some electrician's tape uh, so that when you grab a hold of this, you're not, you're going to be insulated from the wire. And this wire uh, sits in, uh, at an angle into your uh, a unit here, and then you have to excite it. Uh, and uh, I'll explain how we excite it. Uh, what we do is you have to find a piece of plastic. And I just look around my door drawer my desk and I have these old things uh, uh, left over from uh, 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 drawing doing drawings and things uh, uh, I found the ones that really work very well for me are these old uh, templates uh, for drawing flow charts and uh, I get a couple of these together and and uh, then you need a piece of wool I have two or three of these in my hand and a piece of wool and I just side it like this and you'll get a spark that you can then when this is in there take it up to it and the spark will jump from here to there and uh, uh, and that's how you uh, charge your uh, radiation detector this th this is a well-known trick everybody knows about it you, we used to shuffle our feet across the floor when people had wool carpets there today everything's anti-static I don't know if it works anymore but we had great fun uh, doing that and you come up to the doorknob of the of uh, the room and put out your hand and a spark that big would jump across to the doorknob or you would do this and walk up to somebody and sneak up behind them and touch their elbow and then jump you know because you put out this big spark the overall principle of the working of it is simply that these two uh, little foils hang down inside and uh, underneath your piece of uh, uh, a plastic saran wrap or whatever you call it and uh, uh, you have this wire goes down touches uh, uh, the uh, inside according to the drawing and uh, you give it this charge and they will spread apart uh, between your uh, two gauges that you look down and you put a ruler over the side to get your head the right height above them and you look down in there and you see how far apart they are and uh, then you uh, jot down that number and the time and you come back and look at how long it takes them to come back together and that gives you the measure of radiation works very very accurately very simple to build and uh, you can do this and it costs nothing uh, just the materials around your house to do it this one new trick I had to learn is how to make those filaments today because you can't go out and you can't go to the wife's sewing drawer and get a piece of thread or fishing line or this everything today is anti-static but we make it out of these garment bags and I'm going to show you exactly the detail of how we do that because that's the trick okay Gemma dog what we're going to do is now show people how to make the threads that they use in the uh, Kearney fallout meter and we have a work table here we put over it a piece of cardboard and on top of the cardboard we put a piece of brown paper there we are we have our piece of brown paper and first thing we've got to do is tape it down to our cardboard this gives us something to cut into now what we need to put on the top of the brown paper is our garment bag that's what I use taping on the garment bag 
Now, I take a ruler and uh, I'm going to mark off in here. I marked from the bottom edge of my cardboard here so I'll get these across from each other. Uh, some markings quarter inch apart. Uh, here's a quarter inch, quarter inch. Go down here and get a, a marking and uh, start off here quarter inch and so now I can lay my ruler in between these quarter inch markings then between those markings I cut straight line and we move up here to our next marking on each side and uh, we cut another straight line across my little strips right there's one I'm going to cut it loose break it loose oh, I had this long strip here I did get quite as straight as I'd like but for a demo and you can do it over and over and you, you do 20 of them and then you pick the two that you like best that's what you do I kind of like to wrap it around a pen here and same thing for the other edge here. Wrap that around the pen. The pen. And I get this stretched out here. And I start pulling this and pulling this and pulling this. And you can see it's just stretching right out there into a string. Just a thin little thread. You have to pull very, very even very very slowly to do the first one you do it may take you 10 minutes pulling eventually I end up with a thread a long thread eventually I'll end up here just like this a nice thin thread and you want to get as thin as you can nice and that that's what you're going to put in between your foils and that's you too can build yourself a radiation detector at home. These are some drawings that show the simplicity of building this unit. On our website, we provide links to videos done by others that show the step by step process. One very excellent series is done by a 12 year old girl. The procedure that I recommend is to first watch through the series completely and then to work through the building of a first unit, stopping the presentation in a step-by-step -step fashion. Building the first working unit may take you several hours, but this is a marvelous survival tool beyond that of having radiation detection equipment. Being able to quickly make these establishes you with expertise that you would be very valuable at the time of need. It would cost practically nothing to store in an organized fashion. All the materials needed for dozens of units and with experience, you'd be able to assemble one in less than an hour or direct others in assigned tasks to make many at one time. Thank you for watching. And please remember that Arc 2 is not just about your survival. It is about the reconstruction of society after its collapse or a nuclear war. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world.